Okay, so this uh, video is going to show you how to create your own Chrome app. And like other Chrome apps out there, they are either a redirection to a website or an app itself. Um, but most here are a few I've actually made for my school district. One goes to uh, a help center for kids, one's for a department, one's for a blog. So it's really easy to do. Um, there's actually a website that Chrome gives you on how to create your first app. But what I'm going to do is show you, but break it down and show you how you could actually make it for yourself. So the first thing you do is you need to make a text file called manifest. They actually give you the code right here. And you're just going to paste that into Notepad. So what I'm going to do is open up my, I made a folder called manifest. And in there, I made a text file called manifest. And I pasted, and I pasted that code onto here. Now, there's a few things you need to change in this code. One, give it a name. So, what I'm going to do is I'm making a Chrome app for a mini conference this summer. So, I put the name right there. And then for the description, what I need to do is write a description. So, something simple. So, learn about the Meaningful EdTech Experience mini conference. Simple enough. Okay, then there's an area that says uh, you need to put a ping uh, file for your logo. So in your manifest uh, folder here, I made a 128 pixel by 128 pixel ping for your logo. Uh, here, you're just labeling the same name. So when you make your logo, just call it 128 ping. And then last but not least, just the URL website of uh, the sites that you want to go to. So what I'm doing is I am going to take this website right here and I'm gonna make it into a Chrome app so here is my link for that so now what I'm gonna do is paste that URL here and here and when I'm done we're just gonna hit file save and it's called manifest txt now what we need to do is we need to change this to a .json file because that's what it requires it to be to be a Chrome app so to do that, the easiest way is to right-click and just rename that file and get rid of the extension txt and put json. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to change it? You'll press yes. So inside the folder that I called manifest, I have a file for my logo. It's 128 by 128 pixels called 128 ping. And then my manifest.json. At this point, what we need to do is we need to take this folder and we're going to upload it to the Chrome Developer Dashboard. Uh, before we do that, we need to zip it. So to zip a file, a folder, all you need to do is right-click on it and go to Send To and Compressed Zip Folder. And now we have our zipped folder. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the Chrome Web Store. And if you don't know how to do that, all you need to do is click on Apps and go to web store and when you go to the web store on the top it will show your name and a little gear button usually it means for settings so if I click here it will show you uh, developer dashboard uh, these are the apps I have, have, I have created um, you could add any items you want the only thing that Google requires from you is for you to pay a one-time fee only of five dollars through uh, Google Wallet. That's what it is. So at this point, what you need to do is you hit Add New Item. You need to upload your file. That is your zip folder. So all I'm going to do is hit Choose File. I am going to locate my manifest.zip and hit Open. And it is going to upload this folder here. Okay, I did everything correctly so that it actually understood that it would actually tell you if something's wrong so I did everything right now we need to actually give it a detailed des a description so I'm just gonna write something in really simple but I could change this at any time this is just what's gonna represent in the Chrome Web Store so uh, Chrome app for the Met experience mini conference uh, I could be more detailed than that but that's fine for right now to upload an icon, that's our 128 by 128 pixel ping file that we had in our folder. So I'm going to hit upload new icon, choose a file, and I'm just going to go to my manifest folder 
and this file will be sufficient for my logo. So I'm just going to upload that file here. Great, so now I actually have some sort of icon for this um, Chrome app. Uh, a few things that are also required is a promo tile and a screenshot. So uh, I already did this prior to this, so take a screenshot that's either this size or this size. So I'm just going to hit choose file. I've made a few screenshots already. Here's my screenshot and then my promo tile. I'm just going to go to here. I chose the smallest one. You could have as many as you want. I'm just going to choose one for right now because it's required. So let's go to my met tile and upload that. All right, now uh, last but I, what I need to do is I need to actually tell it what, I need to verify my site. Uh, even though I own the site in my Google Sites, which I have a lot that I own, I need to verify this. So I need to add this site to it. And just a quick FYI, um, if you're make, you need to be the person that owns the Google Site. You can't be like a part owner. It doesn't really work that way. So you need to actually create this Google Site if you want it to be your... Um, if you want it to be your Chrome app. If you're using a different service, you just need to be the owner of it. So if I hit add new site, so all I need to do is I need to find, these are the sites I have verified. So I need to hit add new site, and I'm just going to take this, and paste it here. Alright, so I need to verify this. Now, I have not, this has not really helped me when I want to verify the site using Google Sites. So I go to the alternative methods, the HTML tag, and you'll copy this. Now, where you place this in a Google Site is this. I go to um, the settings, and I go to uh, manage site. And there is an area in here where you could do this. And it is. So it says Google Webmaster Tools. This is where you'll verify it. So I'm going to paste it here and hit save. So it does recognize that that tag is now applied to this Google site. So my tag here is here to verify the site to know that I am the owner of that site. Now, once again, if you're like a person that collaborates on the site or you're not the original creator of the Google site even though the ownership was transferred to you this is going to be difficult for you so if you want to create a Google site and then make it a Chrome app make sure you're the one that created it uh, originally so let's verify this congratulations it's been verified you need to verify this if you want to make it a Chrome app if you can't verify it it's not going to work out for you Okay, so I don't really care about this information right now, so let's just close this tab. Let's go back to here, and it should be, let's see here, and let's open up my, so that is my verified site, and uh, I just need to choose a few categories, and I should be able to publish it, and it's all done. So let's go to, uh, for right now, let's go to other education. Uh, I, it doesn't matter if it's for many different regions. I'm making this free, but you could also make it a priced app. Uh, this is a promo app, so it makes no sense for me to actually have it be a paid app. So, uh, more or less, this is really going to be used in the U.S., so I don't need it to be done for all regions. So, I'm just going to pick United States. Uh, do I want it available in Google Play for Education? Why not? I'm cool with that. Uh, that's a whole other example there. Select the language. I'm just going to make it English for right now. Uh, I do not need any of this information. It's not mature content. It does not need any of this information here. Um, I want this to be public. But a nice, cool, a nice neat thing is that if you're making an app just for your school or your district, you can make it private or unlisted so it's easy for you to access only in your domain. But for this purpose, I'm making this... Uh, Promo Chrome app for anybody to view, so I'm good with it being public. 
So all I need to do is I can actually preview changes, but I'm going to hit publish because I believe I have everything correct. And you got yourself a Chrome app. So I just made a Chrome app within I don't know, 10 minutes uh, on, on a conference. You could do this for many different things. You could do it for, I've done it for resources for my school. I've done ones uh, for uh, testing sites that I wanted for my school district. I mean, really, it's a redirection to a site. It makes it very easy. You could push it out to your students. You could push it out to your staff. It's really great to use. Um, that's it. Have fun if you want to make one.